The firearm is the ultimate in self-defense protection, uh, but there are times where you need a non-lethal option. Uh, whether it's because of firearm restrictions or it just doesn't warrant you shooting someone. We're going to take a look today at a non-lethal option. This is the Berna HD. And to me, this is one that gives you a lot more capability than, say, pepper spray, even a flashlight with a crenulated bezel, or a knife. Uh, one thing about this is, is you can get back to 60 feet. And that is really critical to get some distance between you and the attacker. What you're doing is you're giving yourself some time to get out of the area. Now the Berna HD comes in a small little case like this. It's zippered and uh, you have foam padding. Uh, also there is a little sleeve in the top here. You get the HD which you know this comes in an FDE but it also comes in black. It comes in an orange. Also a white and camouflage. So there's a number of different colors you can get. You get an extra five round magazine plus one in the pistol. Two CO2 cartridges. And typically you would get five of the self-defense rounds, five inert rounds that are solid, and then five with powder for training. Now there are also different accessories that you can get. Now this one has the Crimson Trace laser, uh, but you can get it without. Also there is a holster. And uh, it is a nice little solid paddle type holster. Uh, and it does give you some retention, but yet it's easy to draw. And you can buy the extra rounds. These are inert powder rounds, but they have the actual uh, OC rounds. They have the OC and Pava rounds. And then they have just solid rounds. And you can get them in different configurations. But you can go to the Burnham website and check that out. And also they have a 10 pack of the 8 gram gas canisters or CO2 canisters. Now we took the Burna HD down to the range. We just wanted to see how it would perform uh, with your practice rounds, uh, seeing what kind of accuracy we were getting, kind of some distance, and just seeing what this little guy would do. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot like a paintball gun, but yet you've got something behind it. Of course, obviously we wanted to do some testing with the rounds to see how effective they were. And so my good friend Robbie Wheaton from Wheaton Arms joined me and uh, it was really funny. We had two different experiences. We decided that it was going to be painful enough to get that <coughs> in your face without being shot. I got shot last time with an inert one and it hurt because it's solid, but <coughs> you can't breathe. You can't even breathe at first. My face is on fire. My nose is running like crazy. Um, <clears throat> it's been a couple of minutes now, so uh, didn't even wasn't even a direct hit. It was actually on the wall behind me. Well, man, my, I mean, I'm not kidding. It hurts. I, there was no, there is no way you could have done anything for that first five or six seconds. I mean, I couldn't even breathe. Yeah. So much less run or anything else. <laughs> All right, how you feel? It's, uh, I feel like somebody threw sand and both of my eyes and are sitting here just rubbing it like this and all of the skin around my eyes here is just on fire don't like touch. you know literally like it. somebody <laughs> sprayed me in the face with a flamethrower burning i mean just literally on fire so 
nose is running some I didn't get a whole lot in my <coughs> I didn't mm. get a whole lot in my lungs or in my nose but my eyes just really oh, your eyes are watered. yeah yeah did you uh, did you did you hold your breath when you walked through I took a big deep breath of it but it <laughs> the cloud was like right at eye level and it all just went straight in my eyes and in my face was, uh, not a whole lot in my not a whole lot in my nose and in my lungs so I'm you know kind of able to talk but you know, as far as opening my eyes right now <clears throat> forget it not gonna happen Well, you've been spraying water in your eyes for five minutes. Yeah, a good five minutes. And I can, I'm just now getting to the point where I can open my eyes again and keep them open for more than just a second or two. So, yeah, that stuff is, it Man, is no Steve, joke. You're a former Marine, so I've, you've been through the other two. I've been gassed before, yep, and it's, uh, it's not much different. <laughs> <laughs> now, I also have some video that Brian, that's CEO and founder of Berna, uh, also took some rounds with their solid projectile rounds. Now this is like paintball that's been frozen and it was very effective. One of the things that he was trying to show is that you could actually put a couple of those solid rounds in here first and then have three of the pepper uh, CS or OC and to see how effective that was. Hi, I'm Brian Gans, President of Security Devices, maker of the Burner Personal Security Device. Uh, we're doing a little live fire testing today uh, to sight the uh, laser. We were firing at this piece of plywood. Uh, unfortunately, one of the rounds went right through the plywood. Uh, I'm going to have my colleague shoot me in the leg to see uh, what this really feels like. I'm going to put on my safety goggles, and I would strongly urge anybody at home who's getting shot to make sure you have your safety goggles on. All right, let's try another one. Try to get me in the thigh. Ah, mother. You all right? Oh. Yeah. That is. Uh, I think that would dissuade uh, an assailant. Oh God, that hurt. And then their second test was with their head of marketing, Victor, who actually held up a board, and you'll see the results. I gotta get out of this area. Okay, go, come over here. Let's get the milk. Come on, Victor, we'll come to my boy. Hold on to my hand. Oh. Hold oh. it. <laughs> All right. Okay, get the milk, the water. Susan. You need to come away from wherever it is. It's, yeah. it's close. It's... Ah, that was really You better you better keep recording. Yep, got it. Jesus. Got it. Follow my voice. Yep. You know what? I try to open my eyes and it burns even more now. Okay, uh, use the milk. Take your shirt off. I'm gonna pour it over here. your head. Just do it here. Yes, your eyes. <coughs> my hands. Ah, that is so. <laughs> so is the Berna HD effective? I think it's very effective. Uh, you know, if you get it in your eyes and your lungs, you're going to have a really bad day. Now I want to go over some of the features. It is a kind of a polymer finish, and then it has this rubber overmold right here around the grip. And so it gives you a good firm grip. Uh, you do have ambidextrous safety right here. Uh, and then, of course, you do have a Picatinny rail. You can actually fit a light on here if you don't want to use the laser. has the magazine release right here, which is standard, and it just drops it free. Again, this is a five-round magazine. And you have black raised sights on the front and back. And the mag release is right here, easy to get to, which is on most standard pistols. To load the magazine, we just enter the little ball, and there's a little arm that kind of pops up and holds it into place. And so we just easily put these rounds in. These are the inert rounds, uh, so we're going to just show it without going <laughs> to the standard OC gas or the OC powder. Then take and just insert it like you would a regular magazine. Now when you've done this, it immediately loads around 
right here. And you can tell because this is raised up just a little bit. There's no slide action, no way to pull the slide back. Uh, when you take the magazine out, uh, right here you have this little push button, and if you'll watch, the round just pops right out. Now with the magazine loaded, go ahead and insert it into your grip. Right here at the front, you're going to have a little hole, and on your magazine, you're going to have a little Allen key. And so we're going to take this and just unscrew. And this is where your cylinder goes. And so everything is, even though you do have the tool on the end of the magazine, you have everything you need. And then you can just go ahead and twist this right out. Then take your CO2 cartridge and drop it in. Replace our plug back in. Now, putting this plug in will not pierce the CO2 cartridge. Uh, you do that by actually pulling the trigger on the firearm. Once you get it to a certain place, go ahead and take your magazine and just tighten that down. So we've got it pretty tight, and yet the CO2 has not been punctured. Now, you can leave it like this with the CO2 cartridge unpunctured, and you can store this indefinitely. Once you use the HD, you're going to need to replace the CO2. Now to puncture the CO2, all you need to do is put it on safe, pull the trigger, and then you're ready to go. Uh, but you can also just leave it as it is, and then as soon as you pull the trigger, even on fire, uh, you're going to puncture your CO2 cartridge. Now guys, these do fire a 68 caliber round, and there are a number of different paintball and practice type 68 caliber ammunition out there, but sometimes they can get stuck. And so really for self-defense, even for practice, you need to go ahead and order it directly from Berna. Uh, they're very careful to make sure that these are just perfect for the HD. Now there's no federal law that regulates these. These are not subject to the ATF. Uh, you do need to be 18 years or older, just like you would with a pellet gun or a pellet rifle. Uh, but these are not considered a firearm. There could be state and local regulations that apply. You need to check with those first before you carry this. Uh, another consideration is if you ever have to pull this out, uh, it does look very similar to a gun. And so if law enforcement's around, you know, that could cause some questions. You should really carry this the same way that you would carry a firearm. As far as air travel goes, check with the TSA website to see what they recommend. I know on the Berna website they said that these are allowed to be carried through most airports, even internationally. But you definitely need to check TSA first. And these are going to have to be checked as a firearm. And of course, you'll want to have it unloaded as well. Now the kit, as you see here, without the Crimson Trace laser, they start out at 349 and so from adding the Crimson Trace, adding extra magazines, things like that, I mean, you know, of course, the price will go up. So check out the Berna.com website. They do offer a number, again, of different type rounds, uh, whether it's the self-defense rounds or practice rounds. I believe the magazines are like $20 for two. And so $10 a piece is a great price for these magazines. Then, of course, CO2 cartridges. Uh, they do recommend that you get those from Berna, but they also say that these are not really standardized, that it's pretty much, this is the cartridge. But to me, if you're going to rely on something for self-defense, I think purchasing it directly from Berna would be the best option. Now, if you've used the Berna HD and you just want to remove the cartridge, um, just go ahead and drop your magazine. What we're going to do is just take and slowly open it up. And you're going to hear the gases let it go ahead and release then you can go ahead and just open it up there we go remove the cylinder and if you want to you can replace it or you can leave it as is I personally recommend going ahead and putting a cylinder in and closing it up and since you're not piercing the cylinder it's going to always be ready to go again indefinitely now it is a picatinny rail and it can fit different accessories and of course the crimson trace laser really works pretty well but here we're just going to throw on a little pl mini 2 it's right there where you need it and that way you've got light so just another option or you can just go plain jane <laughs>